Now the thing is about this wind-up technology, um, the reason why the radio came about in the first place is because things had changed remarkably with radios. The transistor had been in, uh, introduced to radio, so therefore, like when I was a boy, most radios had valves in them and you'd need an enormous amount of power just to get the things to go. And I suppose it was a transition which made it possible for me to reach out with old technology into new technology. Now, of course, with new technology, you've got gizmos and gadgets that require so little power in comparison with what was necessary when I first made my radio. And of course, the new technology means that you don't have to depend on springs, which I had, of course, initially. You can do it another way, in other words. But the wind-up technology is so extensive, I've got uh, uh, all sorts of gizmos and gadgets now. Obviously the torch came on the back of what I've done. But you can combine um, wind-up technology with uh, solar panels, for example, so that the radios can be modified. And um, you've got uh, adapters that could be used for winding up or recharging your mobile phones. I mean, the spread is so wide, wind-up computers will soon come about. They have been done before, but getting one down to a realistic price has been a problem, which has now been resolved by apparently a couple of companies in India who have come up with some really bright ideas. Uh, I mean, when you consider what's happened in my lifetime, and I'm 73, can you imagine? It was only, what, 10, 15 years ago when you had a mobile phone. It was like a house brick. Now, a mobile phone is the tiniest thing which can actually be concealed within your pocket. Now, if we consider this little wind-up, a wind-up device on the back of that, then wherever you go, provided there's a signal, you should be able to make contact with your friends on the old-fashioned wind-up technology.